guys. It's Sunday, June 21st. Yes. It's uh, like 5 o'clock in the evening or just after 5. And um, we were at the mall walking around for about an hour or so just trying to get some steps in. Mm -hmm. It's like 97 degrees outside. So it's a little warm and toasty. It's kind of warm, yeah. We're going to go now. We have a gift certificate to the Olive Garden, an Italian restaurant, and we're going to go have dinner, early dinner with the old folks. So that's all right. I can so tell it's Monday. Good morning, everybody. It's Monday, July 22nd, I think. It's just after nine o'clock. Um, at this point, it's probably like 9.20 or 9.30. I don't know. I've tried to film this intro like four times and just yeah <laughs> it wasn't working so anyway I am out early-ish this morning although not as early as I wanted to be to grocery shop we're having more people over for dinner tomorrow um, from California this time Masonic Lodge people so I need to get some groceries because Bob wants to grill chicken and I think we're out so we're out of a number of things um, our new house I love our new house but um, there's just something about being up here in Oregon. The sun is just so much brighter. Holy cow. And our bedroom faces just the right way that despite window treatments on the windows, you know, I get blared in the face with sun super early in the morning. So I have trouble sleeping most days. So I'm going to get a sleep mask rather than hang blackout curtains, which I really don't want to do. So I'm going to get a sleep mask and I need groceries and maybe some melatonin because I'm out and that might help me sleep some too. Anyway, I also have to edit last week's vlog today and I need to film a video for a YouTube collab I'm doing with some friends. So it is a busy, busy Monday. I guess I better stop chatting and get to it, huh? All right, I'll be back. Okay, so here's a fun fact about me. About, I don't know, 15 years ago, I had surgery on both my feet. I think I've mentioned it before, probably a million times, but I don't know. Anyway, I had bunion surgery, tendon issues, cysts, got extra bones in both feet. Anyway, I'm having some issue with my heel spurs. They're a bit tender and um, I've been doing a lot of walking, so I've aggravated it. Uh, I don't really want to go in for more cortisone shots, so I'm just dealing with it anyway. Got my tennis shoes on in the house, which I normally don't do, but they have orthotics in them. And um, I am going to have to go out again in a bit to go get the mail. And I just, I really don't want to be bothered putting my shoes on again. I know it's a lazy thing, but there you have it. So shoes are staying on in the, while I'm in the house for a little bit. It's just the way it is. All right, I'll be back. Good morning. It's Tuesday morning, July something. Um... I just knew like two minutes ago. Now I don't know. Let's see. What does the iPad say? Um, it doesn't say anything. <laughs> it doesn't say anything. Hold on. There we go. July 23rd. <laughs> um, anyway, I spent the morning um, getting some chores started. I'm working on laundry, cleaning the bathrooms and getting social media done, not necessarily in that order. Got my posts done and everything else, checked on the Etsy store, checked on Patreon. Um, I was on the computer pretty late last night getting a scheduled post up on Patreon for a long watercolor tutorial. It's um, just over 40 minutes, and um, that took like forever to get set up, but it's done, and it's scheduled to go live to patrons only on Saturday. So, fun fact, the 27th. Anyway, I got all that done and now I have to do dishes. I really want more coffee, but I'm not going to have any because that much caffeine is not great for my blood pressure. So, that's a thing. Anyway, it is a warm ish but overcast day today. Of course, I do live in. Oregon, so, you know, <laughs> would you expect it could be 90 degrees out and not be sunny, so it's just the way things are up here. And, uh, yeah, today is no different. I'm gonna 
work on some of the glare here because it's, it's glary. There we go. That's a little better. So anyway, um, that's all that's going on at the moment. We do have company coming over later tonight uh, for dinner. Um, but I think I'm just about ready. I need to sit with my coupon book and cut my coupons finally and go through a couple of other things that are on the table. So I'm going to sit and do that now. I don't know if I'm going to get any art done before they come. Uh, I guess we'll just see how the day plays out. I'm not expecting people until around 4 o'clock-ish, 5 o'clock-ish. But that doesn't mean somebody won't show up early. It doesn't mean I won't get wrapped up in other things. So I don't know. We'll see. All right. I'll be back. It is Wednesday morning, 8.21 a.m., July 24th. Don't get excited. I've been checking the computer. <laughs> anyway, I'm about to chat with some friends. I've got to finish my morning coffee. Um, yesterday, we had, friend, we had some old friends over for dinner, another sort of business friend dinner thing. So I didn't get a ton done, but I did start a color inspiration journal. I was culling some magazines and harvesting some magazines for images and I found this one in Southwest Art Magazine which I picked up for I think like 25 cents or something at the library um, and I really love the composition but also the colors so I decided to find images that I'm likewise inspired by and start sort of a color inspiration journal uh, from them I'm making notations on the image and where it came from finding paint colors in my stash that's either standing alone or mixed together um, are similar to the painting or what I'm inspired by by the painting and then I just added a added a random stampy mark here at the bottom by my thumb so I'm going to keep doing that in fact I've got a stack of images I'm going to add to that if it's something you'd like to see a video on let me know and it'll just be sort of an art inspiration and when I need inspiration for colors and composition for a page or a painting and I'm really just not want, wondering where to go, I can look at that journal and go, hey, you know what? I remember I liked that one. Let's do that. Um, I also made, out of some old Reader's Digest book covers, I made some paper clip storage uh, books. Um, you can't really see the strips too much. There we go. There's two of those on the page where you can store some of the decorated paper clips I've been making. Um, I do think I'm going to fill these up with paper clips and then sell one or both of them in my Etsy shop. Um, if they're not listed at the time of this video airing and you're interested, DM me um, or email me. And um, I didn't make a paper clipper tag yesterday because of having people over, so I'm a bit behind. So i got to do two today of each. And that's about it, I think. For right now, I need. I really, really, really need to finish my coffee. Yeah, because that's a thing. Guys, I'll be back. It's 4:20, so I spent a good portion of the day talking with my friends. But while I was talking to them, I was doing art and stuff. And I finally said, "I gotta go. I gotta do the dishes." Anyway, um, I have something that was drying on the sink, so I need to bring it upstairs. I do repurpose and recycle and reuse whatever I can and try to keep things out of the landfill and at least temporarily and try to reuse it at least once so I do have a stash of these up here they make great paint buckets water buckets palettes and that sort of thing anyway I got quite a bit done and I've already turned the computer off for the day which is yay, which is great I got two paper clips and two tags done today um, let me show you a paper clip drawer and this is one of the two tags I did and tags paper clips what are these hello this is the other one tags I've done so far in this round of doing tags for July and I did this one and then that one today. That paper clip tag book, and I wanted to show it to you when it was full. I was showing uh, my friend Vicki Brown from Messy Table Studios, and she says, um, you're gonna do a tutorial on that, right? <laughs> so I guess we're doing a tutorial on this, which means I need to go pick up another Reader's Digest book to get, so I can get the cover, because that's what this is from. 
Um, this red thing is a elastic hairband from Dollar Tree. You can usually get them in packs of like, I don't know, six or ten of them uh, for a dollar. So I usually have these around for books. And then I filled it with paper clips from that drawer I just showed you, the collection. These are all ones I've made in the last month or so. And it's a great way to store them. And I do think that I'm going to um, offer this one up for sale. So if you're interested, let me know. And what else have I done? I think that's all I've done right now. And I need to probably do laundry. <laughs> I have some new rubber stamp inventory coming in for the Etsy shop and I paid for that today. So that's on the way. Yeah, answered a bunch of questions. Hold on, we're gonna be in the dark. There we go. My stash of empty containers. <laughs> um, so yeah, so it's been a busy day. I got a lot of stuff done. I got Etsy orders out early this morning and they were stuff I could get into the mailbox here and didn't have to go down to the PO box. So that's all good. I think I'm gonna do laundry now and then I guess figure out what we're gonna do for dinner. Yeah. So I guess that's a thing. All right, I'll be Say back. somehow I knew it was too good to be true, being able to turn my computer off at four o'clock. You know? Go figure. Okay, I think those questions are answered. Maybe. <sighs> All right, should we go downstairs? Maybe do another load of laundry? Maybe. And then I'm gonna finish watching Mike Deacon's vlog. Because, you know, yeah, that's a thing. All right, I'll be back. Wait, for those wondering, my heel feels much better this week. My heel spurs, the swelling and inflammation went down so much and it's so much better. Um, I get the occasional twinge, but nothing like it was. So yay. So if the husband's not too exhausted tonight then, and he says, do you wanna go walking? I'm gonna say yes, I would like to go walking. So anyway, and if we don't go walking tonight, I will make sure to go shopping or something so I can get extra steps in tomorrow. So, although Lord knows I've been up and down the stairs enough today. Although, you know, I could use a few more steps. All right, that's it for now, I'll be back. Good morning everybody, it's Thursday morning, July 25th, 8.26 a.m. Don't get all excited, I checked already. <laughs> I'm trying people, I'm really trying. Anyway, we're headed upstairs, obviously. And I'm gonna do the quick social media thing and then I'm gonna head out. I've got some errands I wanna run and I have a hair appointment at 11, so I've gotta get the whiteness covered up. So I'll bring you with me when I can. I'll be back. Okay, so one thing I haven't done um, in a while is, well, six weeks, I think it's been five or six weeks since I've been on this side of Portland, is check to see if Craft Warehouse has quilling supplies. If you don't know what quilling is, it's the art of um, bending and curling paper and creating images and objects out of that. So um, I've been making a few embellishments here and there with it, and I have an idea for a fall thing. Actually, I take off on something I did a long time ago that I haven't done in a while, and some little quilling pieces for it would be would be a good idea. Um, I, I also just, you know, don't always like ordering everything online, contrary to popular opinion, my husband. Um, <laughs> um, so I was wondering if Craft Warehouse had quilling supplies. I know Hobby Lobby does, but it's really far from my house. Um, Craft Warehouse does. They don't have a ton, but they have enough. So that works. So yay. I did get some fabric for some, um, the upcoming fall project and another little thing I want to try. And, um, yeah, I'm going to go grab some breakfast now cause I haven't eaten yet. We were out of breakfast bars and I didn't feel like making toast cause hello lazy. Um, we didn't have any fruit to put in my cereal. So I'm going to go like get some breakfast and then head over to the hair salon. I'll be back. Hair is done. Errands are done found the local Goodwill. There was one a half a mile from the beauty salon. And while it's not the best Goodwill I've ever been to, I did find what I needed for an upcoming YouTube video. 
and um, Crafters Warehouse had more stuff for an upcoming video and I also got a few things at Dick Blick um, for more videos and art, you know, that's what I do. I think it's time to go home now and have some lunch. It's 1.12 and I am starved, although I did get a breakfast bar on the way to the salon. Um, I'm hungry, so. All right, I'll be back. Good morning. It's Friday, July 26th, I think. I think. Um, 9.50 a.m. I only know that because, hello, I'm looking at the clock in the car. Um, and if that's accurate, it's 9.50 a.m. I'm headed out to the grocery store about an hour later than I intended, but I was answering some family tree information questions from my sister and her husband, Elizabeth and Philip. We're working on something interesting, and if it works, it'll be pretty exciting, so we'll see what happens. And anyway, for those that don't know, I'm second generation American. Um, my grandmother was born in uh, Jello, Italy, and uh, her husband was born here, but his parents were from Pisa and Luca. So yeah, that's a thing, at least on my dad's side. On my mom's side, we've been here for a long time on, the mom, on my mom's side. Anyway, so we're working on something interesting and I was giving the information I could and in the meantime, I am going to go to the grocery store because Becca's coming over for dinner and I don't think we have anything to cook, so that's a thing. All right, I'll be back. plans to do other things today but we just did another load of kitchen purging so the back of my car is going to be full again and we purged coffee cups barware and platters and just randomness that we kept finding we haven't yet moved to the china cabinet or um, what's going to be the bar which is going to go there yet um, and it's, you know, <laughs> both of us can only take so much purging in one day. And the back of my car is only so big. So um, every weekend until we have enough purge to move furniture around, we're going to just keep doing what we're doing. Um, I think that we're just about ready to empty out the furniture and move it around. But um, that's going to be left for another day. But we got a great deal of purging done. We're down on our coffee cups by at least half, our barware by at least half, some platters, some things that we forgot we had, to be honest, and very cool. Yay, progress. <music> Hey guys, it's 427 on Saturday and I've been doing some sewing after we got back from um, donation and purging some more unexpectedly today. I don't think that we were going to do it today, but things happen. Um, anyway, I decided to work on the charity bear pattern, which I shared that I found um, the other day. And it is a stuffed bear pattern that is a free pattern online. I'll put the link for where you can find it in the description below. And it's um, intended for, you know, making little stuffed animals to donate to children, especially like in children's hospitals and um, and that sort of thing. Um, there's a whole blog post about it, I'll link it below. Anyway, I thought I'd give my hand at it. I do like to make little things like that to just sort of have around and, you know, give away or, you know, I'm kind of toying with the idea of making a bunch of them and taking them to the local children's hospital or something. Anyway, we'll see. I thought I'd give my hand at it. I tried, um, they recommend polar fleece, so I'm gonna try that next, but I tried some flannel and felt, which is what I had, and I did find doing the eyes on these ones with um, embroidery floss was best. Um, these, this, I printed the pattern 65% of the original size because I wanted to make it like a smaller bear. So this is the one. And then this is number two. So there's a lot of options for our faces and um, you can put the heart on his uh, belly or you can put a belly or then there's different size bellies. Anyway, 
he has a pretty cute pattern, so I'll be making more of them. Anyway, I think that's it for now. Um, I also added one more page in the Color Inspiration Journal today. If you want to see the other pages that I've done, um, follow me on Instagram or um, um, Twitter or um, over in my Facebook group, A Life of Art and Self-Expression, because I do share stuff that I'm doing daily, creatively, every day over there. Um, the link for all the places you can follow me and different places you can support the free content here on YouTube are all in my link tree list of links, which is in the description below. <sighs> what else? I'm going to add a few more images to my color inspiration book, and then I think I'm going to call it a day. So yeah, I think that's it for this week. Uh, I hope it's been a good one for you. It's been a good one for us. And uh, yeah, go out, be inspired, do something fun. I don't know what we're going to do next week, but we're going to see what we can get up to and stay out of trouble. That's the trick, right? All right, so that's it for now. Don't forget to go out and do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. Like, share, and subscribe. And that's it for this week. I will see you next week. Bye, guys. Thank you.